This is an all-in-one electronic starter kit for Arduino from Elicro. It comes with 15 inbuilt modules and best of all, it costs less than $30 which makes it ideal for beginners wanting to get into electronics. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So I came across this uh, electronics kit from uh, Elicro in China. It's a kit for Arduino. If you're not familiar with Arduino, it's an open source platform that allows you to control various sensors and hardware modules. And this kit makes things a whole lot simpler by having everything in one unit without many wires or using um, breadboards. Right, it comes in this uh, nice steady box. And uh, when I first got it, I was surprised at how small it was. It's only around um, 20 centimeters uh, widthwise. Anyway, let's open it up. Now here we have the uh, Croto um, moisture sensor and the Croto cable fits into one of these sockets here. Here we have um, a remote control, it's an infrared remote control. And we've got a USB cable here, it's a USB A and USB C, it looks pretty sharp. Finally we have some servo arms here with some screws. Right, let's take a closer look at the kit itself. At the side here we have a USB-C uh, port. This is for uploading your own code and um, supplying power. Um, I'll be using my own uh, longer power cable because the one that's supplied with it seems a bit short. Right, let's uh, have a look over here. We have a relay and um, it's for controlling high power devices and if you look at, uh, closely on the surface you can see which uh, pin controls the uh, which pin controls this relay on the Arduino microcontroller in this case it's uh, pin D4 moving on from that we have a uh, buzzer which is just speaker really and then we have an ultrasonic sensor here and then to the right of that we have a PIR sensor which is just a, a movement sensor really and then at the bottom left we have a cluster of sensors we have a humidity and temperature sensor here and next to that we have a light look sensor and then Below that is a free axis uh, gyro center. Okay, moving on to the center here, we have the uh, microcontroller. This is the main uh, 80 mega microprocessor that controls everything. I don't know if you can see the numbering on there. I don't think you can. Um, and then of course we have some Crotel headers here and dice I squared C ports as well. Um, okay, finally, let's move on to the uh, right hand side. Up top here, we have a servo motor and we have a linear potentiometer slider here which controls many features as well. And then below that, we have a big LED. So it's D10 controls it here. And then we have a microphone here, which is the analog pin A1 controls that. And then we have a big green button, D7. And finally, a uh, IR infrared receiver here. And of course, to know what's going on, we have a uh, big LCD 
here. Right. What I'll do next is um, I'll get my USB-C power and uh, let's uh, play around with it. Right, here we are. I've plugged some uh, power in, plugged my um, longer USB-C cable in and it's supplying 5 volts as you can see. And um, we've got a built-in program which tests various features and um, and all the LCD you can say start. So then what you have to do is just press the uh, green button here to uh, go through the uh, module. And the first module is the LED, so let's test that. And we've got the LED blinking. Okay. Next up, the uh, light test light sensor test which is the uh, lux meter here so let's cover that up and as you can see the lux drops and uh, the LED lights up here release it and we've got a lux screen in the room because I've got two big um, powerful lights here lighting this up okay let's exit this we will the next one and we have the temperature and the humidity. So here it says it's uh, 30 degrees, which is a bit high, really, more like 27. And uh, humidity as well. I don't think it's a bit, I think that's a bit high. Okay, let's press the next one. So we have the sound check sound show which is this here so it's been picking up noises from the microphone test 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 which is uh, what that does and then let's test out the uh, funky uh, ultrasonic sensors there's the ultrasonics and When you go close to it, it beeps. And then we have the servo. The servo arm here is not calibrated properly, so I'll have to take out the screw and calibrate it, but it moves it. And then finally, we have the uh, buzzer test here, which is the uh, speaker here. Okay, that's all the uh, functionality of it done. Basic functionality anyway. So what I'll do now is um, I'll go on to PC, install the IDE, and um, I'll test a couple of programs on it. I'll see you on the PC. Right guys, here I am on the PC and um, we're going to get go to this uh, URL here to get the uh, software and um, here I've been brought up the page to download the Arduino Integrated Development Environment IDE and there's uh, several offerings here you've got the uh, Windows versions the uh, Linux versions here as well and the Mac OS they have um, I'll be doing the, the um, testing on the uh, Windows versions here. So what I'll do is I'll download it and um, I'll run it and uh, I'll cut to that in a minute. See you in a couple of seconds. Right, here I am. I've um, run the Arduino IDE environment and I've set it up. What I did was I went to the uh, tools section here and um, on the board, I selected um, my board, which is the Arduino Uno. And also you have to uh, select the uh, COM port as well. There's only one COM port for me, which is COM3. Um, and if it's the correct one, you, you just clicked on the get board info. As you can see, it comes up with a little bit of the uh, board info here. 
just uh, try all the compotes until you hit the right one. And um, this uh, program here is included in the examples. So what I suggest you do is go back to the uh, website of the product page, which is the uh, on the Yellow Crow's website, and then scroll to the bottom and you'll see a couple of links, one for the wiki and one for the user manual. Basically, get the user manual and then open it up. There's um, two user manuals. There's one 127 pages long and there's one 65 pages long. The new one is 127 pages long. Um, so I suggest you get that. And it tells you how to set everything up, like I've set it up. Um, really well done. Uh, it's uh, much improved compared to how it used to be. And um, it, got, it has all the explanations of um, examples included. And it gives you the link, which is the same as the wiki link, to where you can get the examples from. So it says you go to that website, download all the uh, examples. It says you're typing them up. Once you've done that, go back to the uh, Arduino and we can um, upload some code which will be the next step. Right guys, for the first one uh, program we're going to upload is the uh, moisture monitor, which is lesson five. And uh, it's got all the information there, but you will need the uh, Croto moisture sensor. And uh, here's the code that explains uh, everything on how it works and stuff. Okay. Let's upload that. Display goes blank. And there we are. Now, here's the uh, moisture sensor. Basically, you plug it into the uh, analog port here. And as you can see, it's uh, reset to zero. So I have some water here. And it's jumped over 600. Don't know if you can see that. Okay. Now. We have a cacti here. A cactus, should I say. Here it is. Now let's see what the reading is. And there we see over 180. So it does work. Right, it's time to uh, test another one. Okay, guys. Here I am on um, lesson 16 and um, this one basically is called a polite automatic door. It's pretty simple really, you just press the button and it moves the servo. So let's uh, upload that. And it's done. And let's see that in operation. And by the way, don't forget to uh, hit like and subscribe to the channel. And um, that pretty much uh, concludes this uh, video. Thanks for watching.